hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome today I am going to show you what I sold on eBay Poshmark Mercari and Etsy over the weekend we only had a little bit under $500 in sales over on eBay so that is really slow for us, but I've been in Washington DC pretty much the whole last week. So I wasn't getting a whole bunch of listing done, which definitely could explain it. But for the month, we are up 78% due to our amazing $3,000 painting sale. If you missed the last what sold video, definitely check that one out. So I am going to show you what sold, tell you where I got it and how much profit it is. All right, so this first sale is something that very, very rarely happens. And that is it sold while my sale was off. If you know me, my sale is running pretty much continuous with a three hour break on Monday morning and a three hour break on Friday morning. So this one sold this morning really early while my sale was off for full price, which means it actually sold for about $35 more than I was expecting it to sell for. So this is a gorgeous mesh purse that had free hair. It is in excellent condition on the outside. It does open up. So I did show where the lining is coming apart. This one is a signed Whiting and Davis. Watch for mesh purses. They can be excellent, excellent sellers. I have even paid up to $50 for some because I expected them to sell for $150 or more. This one I only paid $10. It sold for $99 plus shipping and it's going to be about a $70 profit and it sold in under two weeks. Up next is a gorgeous Hummel music box. This one took about eight months to sell. This one is a ballerina. It was made in Western Germany and you can see it was originally $46, but I picked this up in an online estate lot. So this one sold for $11.36. Don't pay attention to those price tags, guys. Remember that you have to do your research. So this one, I'm only about five in. So it's really only going to be about a $4 profit. Up next is an absolutely gorgeous pendant. Look at this mother of pearl hand painted birds. So there are three birds on one side and then there is one on the other. So this pendant, I picked it up for $5. Dalton is saying hello. And this one sold for $26 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it is about a $15 profit. And that one did take about, I think around eight months to sell. Up next is a Rakes yeah. Monkey. And some Rakes items sell for quite a bit of money. Show. This one is a Circus Monkey. And you can see the feet, the hands, as well as the face are wood. And this one I paid $15 for. So I paid a little too much. It sold for $27.29, so this one's actually only about a $5 profit. I actually didn't show you the right foot. I meant to show you, and it is literally the right foot. It is signed Robert Rakes, and this is a numbered piece. Up next is a license plate. This is a 1990 Florida. This one sold for $9.74. I paid a dollar about a year ago, and this one's going to be about a $6 profit. These next ones are a really good example of picking up something that you love and then figuring out it doesn't sell very well or it's not going to sell fast. I absolutely love these and I was really surprised that it took so long to sell. They took about a year and a half to sell, but they are the cutest little thing. And I picked them up at an estate sale. So they are handmade little beanie animals. There is this gecko, super cute little octopus, and I did put them as a lot a crab and a little frog 
So the set of four only sold for $12.72. I only paid, I think a dollar or two at an estate sale. So they're gonna be about a $7 profit, but they took so, so long to sell, but I thought they were so cute. So be very, very weary picking up stuff you think is cute. If you can't find a sell-through rate, how many are selling, because they might take a long, long time to sell. Up next is a Harley Davidson pen and this one we got in a lot i actually bought 650 harley pens i'm less than a dollar in this one sold for 16.23 so it's going to be about a 12 dollar profit up next and with this i want to make sure you know with international buyers you can't combine shipping and one of the hard thing is when you get a question do you combine shipping then you don't know where the buyer is located. So with these license plates, I told them I could combine shipping. They bought them. I realized they were an international buyer. Well, I can't, I can't combine those. I can't combine them. So what I did was email her or send her a message via eBay and said, hey, eBay will not let me combine international orders. What I can do is cancel the three, make you a listing for the three of them together, and we can ship them that way. We did that. She purchased it and all was well but i will tell you the same thing happened about three weeks ago and the international buyer i canceled the orders put them together they didn't buy them so just know that it's kind of hit or miss if it if it goes through or not so she picked up three of them she picked up two vermonts she picked up this c vermont tag from 1976 and another c vermont tag same year 1976 and last was a 1986 Florida tag. So combined on the three, she paid $17.54 plus international shipping. I'm $3 in. So these are going to be about a $10 profit for all three. Up next is something I bought in a lot and I've had almost three years. It is this photograph. This is from 1965. It is Jack Lemon. And this is just like a promotional photo i got the whole book for five bucks though so everything is profit this one sold for 681 so it's going to be about a five dollar profit but i got hundreds of them and they have been selling for five dollars each over those three years so I've, I've probably made a couple of hundred dollars at least off of a one little photo book purchase up next, this was a fast sale. This is an item that was in a jewelry lot I got recently. I've been pulling some of the higher items to put on eBay just to keep eBay active. This is a Corday, and this is actually a new, I'm gonna open it here for you. It's a new little perfume in like a keychain locket. So this one I paid less than uh, $2 for. It sold for $35. So it is over a $27 profit and it sold in under two weeks. And the smell of this is absolutely horrible in my opinion. I can smell it very well right now. Up next is a Mikey Bags Money shirt. <laughs> if you don't watch Mikey, Mikey's known for these Hawaiian shirts. That's what I'm going to call them from now on. So this one is a Royal Palm Black size large. It has got the Hawaiian flowers, little letters and postcards. This one I paid a dollar at my local thrift store. It took about a year to sell and it sold for $16.22. So it's going to be about a $12 profit. With shirts like this, keyword them, like I put Aloha, Hawaiian, postcards, hibiscus, tropical flowers. Think of everything that somebody might search for when they're looking for a particular Hawaiian shirt and that will help the buyer find your item. All right, two more on eBay and then we will move on to the other platform. I picked this up in Phoenix. Look at this Sheffield big dog or actually no i got this here sorry i got this at my little local thrift store here for four dollars i couldn't find any comps on this but look at those graphics amazing graphics you can see it actually is customized uncle millie and it has gemini jerseys it is big dog baits i want to show you that because that's how i keyworded it it is a size 4x as well 
So it had a lot of things going for it. Picked it up for $4 at my local thrift store. Sold for $45 in under a month, making it about a 30, probably about a $32 profit. So that is where kind of knowing experience i knew the size of that i knew i could use big dog baits the graphics were amazing it was a size 4x jersey i just felt like it would sell and it did it sold very very fast but when you pick stuff like that up you're taking a chance it might not because there was nothing else like it listed so i had no idea if it was going to sell or not price it at 45 bucks and it moved pretty fast today is going out to a viewer this is an anybody tunic these shirts have been like the bane of my existence ebay keeps changing my inventory and i don't know how so i updated all of the inventory counted all the sizes and then they mysteriously changed again so i keep having to cancel orders for these because i don't have the right size but miss vicky purchased this one for six dollars I am already in the profit. This is from a QVC palette about three years ago, back when I did buy palettes. That is a, not one of my purchasing methods any longer. And this one's gonna be about a $4 profit. All right, that was everything for eBay. Again, just shy of $500. And I'm gonna show you the other platforms. I say this every what sold video because I really love List Perfectly. They are who we use to cross post absolutely amazing ladies that run that company and very very reseller oriented amazing customer service if you are thinking about cross posting i urge you to give them a try you can use my code the nurse flipper get 30 percent off of your first month and then you'll see if it works for you or not so we have over 250 dollars going out on the other platforms today so about half of ebay which is not too bad so first is actually a teacup this little teacup is a classic example of you see it it's gorgeous it's iridescent it is marked japan and you think it's going to be worth money well surprise surprise this is not worth that much it sold for 27 dollars on poshmark so my payout was 17 i only paid two dollars for this one though but this is not a teacup i would pick up again and this one's going to be about a 15 dollar profit but it took over two years to sell up next and i have been really surprised this is the second of my corning 1939 world's fair glass pens look at the amazing glass work on this brand new never used this one sold on poshmark second one to sell on poshmark and it was to a different buyer i had to go check because i was like how did i sell two glass pens on posh this one sold for 77 my payout was 60 i am about 20 dollars into this pen so it is about a 40 dollar profit took over a year to sell i counted the pens i have seven left i started with 14 of them i have made around 50 dollars a piece on average in profit so that is about $400 close to 400 so I'm breaking even which means those seven pins that are left now will be all profit but it has taken a long time and I have had offers from people to buy all of them at $50 which would really only net me about 35 only making $10 a pen so I have to decline those offers because I would rather wait and make $40 a pen even though it's going to take longer so sometimes you have to make decisions maybe you want to recoup your original buy cost just get the money back and be done me i am okay waiting for the right buyer to come along and buy these pens at 70 75 dollars i haven't priced it around 90 but i do accept offers and rather than going down to 50 i will sit and wait up next on Poshmark was a Chevy hat. This one is actually in excellent condition. It does not look like it has been worn. I picked this one up for $1. It sold on Posh for $16. My payout is $11, so it is a $10 profit, and it only took about six months to sell. Up next is a little tablecloth with marigold. This one I picked up for a dollar. It sold on Poshmark for $13 payout was 10 so it is about a $9 profit 
Next, this was a bins find. I found this at the Goodwill bins. It is a Vashi bag. It's a really nice messenger bag in excellent condition. It is a thick canvas. So I'm about probably about three dollars in by weight at the bins. It is a little bit heavier. So this one sold for $26 on Mercari. My payout was $22, so it is about a $19 profit, and it took about eight months to sell. And then we sold a license plate over on Mercari as well. This one is RN3984, Land of Lincoln, 1975 Illinois tag. I paid a dollar for it. It sold for eight on Mercari on an offer. Payout was six, so it is about a $5 profit. Up next is a CB visor. This is a vintage advertising visor. This one sold over on Etsy for $20. I only paid a dollar, so it is about a $16 profit. And this one sold really fast. It sold in under two months. And last up for today is this beautiful gold plated scarab beetle watch. It does have the safety chain you can see there. It is very, very well made. This one sold on Etsy for $80. Watch for scarab beetle stuff. Sorry, that focus is being wonky today. Watch for scarab beetle stuff. This one I'm less than five in. It is a $65 profit. It sold in under a month on Etsy and I had gotten offers over on eBay around $50. I countered them. They didn't take it. It sold on Etsy for that full asking price of $80 plus shipping. So really great profit on that one. Scarab Beetle items are typically pretty valuable. So keep an eye out for those. And that is it. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this. I am happy to be back home. I had a great time in Washington and Dalton absolutely loved flying on the plane. We are going to do our live shipping following this for members only. So if you're not in my members group, they start at $1.99. They go all the way up to $19.99. They include eBay store reviews, which we are doing tonight. So now is a great time to join the group. That is only the $1.99 level. $9.99, we do live sourcing and look for inventory in your zip code for you. And then the $19.99 includes both of those and live shipping on Mondays, which is after we've had the most sales typically on the weekend. So hit that membership or the join button to get more info. I appreciate you watching. Special thanks to all my channel members. I greatly, greatly appreciate your support. I appreciate all of you watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you on the next one.